ChatGPT03 just launched and it is absolutely incredible. What I'm gonna show you today is how you can use it to research, build, and launch your first video game without writing a single line of code. This is gonna blow your mind. By the end of this video, you're gonna have your own full working 3D game that you built yourself as well as many materials to promote it and get people using it. Let's get into it. What makes ChatGPT03 so incredible is that it's agentic, which means it has access to many, many different tools that it can use to solve your problem. So in building a game, we can do some really cool things. Let's look at this prompt. I wanna build a cool, trendy game with 3JS. Research games that are trending right now, then build me a simple version using 3JS all in one file. Also title the game and make me a graphic so I can advertise this game on social media. Then build me a full marketing plan. What makes this cool is the fact that ChatGPT03 is going to use its deep research tech to see what games are trending right now. Then it's gonna use its coding tech to build us the code for the game. Then it's going to use its image tech to build an advertisement image for the game that we can use to promote the game. Then it's gonna use its writing tech to build a full marketing plan. That's four different tools to complete this one task, which no other AI model in history could do. So what you can see here is it's researching online right now uh, for games that are popular. It found a trending game Block Blast from March 2025 that is a puzzle game that's being widely downloaded. So it found a popular game. It's been doing research online. So it's using its deep research tool. It found the concept. Now it's building out a version of the game for us called Fruit Fusion 3D. So it's building its own version of the game uh, using 3GS. For those who don't know, 3GS is a framework for JavaScript. Very easy, simple to use to build your own games. So it's building code in that. We're going to take this afterwards, put it into cursor so we can run it and play the game. And now what is it doing next? Now I think it's generating the image. Now it's gonna generate like a marketing image for us so we can promote the game on social media. So when we put this live, we can push people to start playing it. So maybe we can make a little bit of moolah. So that's generating the image for us now, right? So we're, we are what, 45 seconds in and we used three different tools, this AI model. We used the deep research to find stuff online. We used coding to build the code. And now we're using the image generator to generate an image. This is truly the first AI model that is in nature. And what that means is it is an AI model that can determine which tools it needs to use to complete a task. Before, the AI model just used one tool, generate me an image, it just generated an image, or do this other thing, it just did that one thing. Here, it can use many different tools to solve problems, which as you can see here, it's basically an employee that works for you. So. So we have the advertisement image it created for our game, right? So we have the code for the game. We're, we're like a minute in. We have the code for the game, the concept for the game. Now we have the marketing for the game with this image it created. And then it's going to tell us why this is the sweet spot. It's a simple puzzle loop. So it's topping the... So the concept it's based on is one of the best browser games of 2025. Puzzle games are dominating downloads, and it's a low-commitment, hyper-casual session. So it did, re it did research for us on why this would be such a good game we can launch. So next, we can actually play the prototype, but let's pause for a second and see what we've done so far in only a couple minutes here. We had an AI model basically do all the work for us to research, build, and launch a game, right? Just imagine a world, before we put this code into Cursor and actually play it, imagine a world where this is just going on its own and doing this 24 hours a day, where this agent's just researching games, building games, launching games, and promoting games by itself while we're sleeping and doing whatever, and then it just starts collecting money. That's a realistic world we're now living in. That's a realistic world. This tech now is available to us because of ChatGPT03. That's a realistic world. This is pretty incredible to witness. So let's do this. Now let's take this code and put it into Cursor. Obviously, you guys probably know what Cursor is. Cursor is a free AI code editor that allows you to uh, build and launch games very easily using AI. So make sure you have that downloaded. It's free. But let's take this code and put it in. Also, before we do that, we launch this game for the first time. If you've learned anything so far, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. All I do is build really cool videos around doing things with AI. So we have Cursor open over on the right is Composer. This is the AI agent in Cursor that's gonna build and launch code for us. So what we're gonna do is this, we're gonna go in agent mode so that it can build code for us. So here's what I'm telling the agent. I wanna build a game using 3JS. I had another AI build the code for me. I put the code below. Please set up the single file game using the code below. And I'm gonna hit submit. 
The agent's going to take the code that Chad GPT-03 wrote for us. It's going to build out the game, put it the files for us. We don't even know how to, we don't even need to know how JavaScript works. And it's going to build the game files, take the code. So all we need to do is hit launch and play the game. I'll help you set up the 3JS game in a single HTML file using the code you provided. Okay, so it's going to... The code looks like a nice playable 3D fruit fusion game uh, where you merge similar sized fruits to create larger ones. So he looked at the code and knows what the game is. That's pretty impressive. I feel like I'm working with human beings right now and really it's just AI, which is really, really amazing. Let me test the game to make sure it runs properly. Okay, let's run that command. Run command. Great. I've successfully set up your 3JS game. Here's a summary of what I've done. Created the files, added a readme. Okay, so now all we need to do is open index.html in any browser and play the game. Let's do it. Let's open this up. All right, so let's do this. Let's check the game out and see how it goes. Index.html, just double click on that. Your game will open. Okay, click to drop the next fruit from that position. Same fruits merge when they touch to create a larger fruit. Got it, let's go. So I think I just... Looks like we got this uh, fruit basket here. I think if I understand the game correctly, you want to match the same fruits. So you want them to touch each other. And if the fruits go above the size of the basket, then it's game over. So let's start dropping them in. All right, so that's a cherry, I'd assume. So let's drop another cherry on top of it, see what happens. Okay, so they combine, and I think it's based on color. So they're all going to be balls, I assume, right? Yeah, they're all balls. And okay, so... Grapes, obviously purple, so let's drop them on top of each other. They combine, I'm gonna assume yellow is lemon, right? So let's do this, drop the cherry in. We can choose where we drop it. Okay, another cherry we wanna drop on top of each other. Uh, I guess I missed there. Strawberry, let's drop it over here. Cherry, okay. So these, let, we got the bones to a game here, right? We got a kind of a fruit matching game. If we wanted to spend more time building this game out, we could do that, right? If we wanna make the, circles look more like fruit we could do that if we want to customize this more so there's so that there's power-ups and bonuses and things like that we could do that is it the greatest game of all time no but just imagine this but think about what we did here for a second we put a single prompt in 03 we said build us a game build us a prototype build us a marketing plan build us a graphic and in that one prompt, it used many different tools to put this all together. And now we have a game where I can go back in a cursor right now if I wanted to, and I can start prompting this with the AI agent and cursor to make better fruits here, add this to the game here. The point being is we've now reached a day and age where AI are, they're now, these models are now truly AI agents. You give it a task, it figures out every step to complete that task and figures out what tools it needs to complete that task as well. Here's my challenge to you. Go into 03, do something similar, come up with an idea for a game, download cursor, put the code in, run it, and launch your own game, right? If you wanna launch this from here next, you would probably put this game, this code on Vercel. Go to Vercel.com, that's where you could host your code. Then you can start going on social media, taking the graphics, your AI agent creates for you. Now, hey, I just launched a game. Here's a graphic for it. Here's the title. Everyone now has the capabilities to build and launch their own game. If you learned anything here, this was a quick tutorial. Make sure you leave a like and let me know in the replies below what you want me to build next. Subscribe because all I do is create videos where you do really cool things with AI. O3 is unbelievable. If you haven't used it yet, make sure you go out and use it. Really incredible stuff with it. See you in the next video.